One year ago, the town of Oakheart was plagued by an ice cream man turned serial killer known only as Teddy. His reign of terror finally came to an end when one of his prospective victims gunned him down, returning peace to Oakheart. What nobody knew was that Teddy himself was a victim of a far greater evil, a beast from beyond the stars that was using him to harvest fresh meat. Now the beast hungers again, and Teddy is back from his grave to begin the hunt anew. Terror at Oakheart is a side-scrolling survival horror game that definitely draws a lot of inspiration from the first Clock Tower game. The player controls different characters, including the killer, at different points. Most of these characters don't have any combat abilities and are tasked only with solving simple puzzles. When controlling an armed character, the game adds some basic combat mechanics – dodge, shoot, reload, repeat. There are a few bosses, and they can be a real challenge even if you've figured out the combat loop. The key draw is the aesthetics. Terror at Oakheart combines elements from vintage slasher movies and cosmic horror, giving it a very visceral feel. The animations are incredibly detailed, far more so than we're used to seeing from pixel-based graphics. The most elaborate animations are saved for the game's spectacularly gory death animations. Splatter aside, the overall feel can be very creepy and even quite subtle at times. In the end, Terror at Oakheart is a game for fans of the films and fiction that inspired it. The game itself is quite basic, so the major feature lies in the spectacle and the scares.